same earring I got a week ago. Getting to 18. I think I got the pair. Definitely looks silver. Nope, this one's a little different, I think. I think that's silver. Heavy. Getting a signal right next to it. Nice green one. Quarter. Is that green? Might be the first gold. It might be the first gold find. I'm getting a 5 6. This is an incredible machine. Very accurate. See it? Right there. Oh, oh, look at that, you guys. We got some gold. Ooh, some bling. Ho, ho, awesome. That's definitely gold. That This doesn't stay that color down here. Awesome. I'm working this patch here. I got a signal. Under that rock, I'm getting a 25. Got that piece of gold there. Hopefully work this embankment. The tide's coming in, so I'm gonna move here pretty quick. 24, I see it. Been getting a lot of beat up coins over there. Maybe another one, yeah, it's a penny. Copper. Getting a 10, 11. It's like a little shell casing. That's a good looking spoon. I don't know if you're going to eat off of it. Oh. Nope. Let's see what we got. Deep. 25. A deep 25. Look at dime. That gray back. Back to that gray sand. Dime. Deep one. Depth. 23. Digging holes that are monstrous. He's got an E-track. He's had some pretty good success. He got some coins. It's a lot of sand moved back in, but we're getting a few signals. Something down here. 17. Not much left of this dime.
24. Huh. The hell is that? That's actually a quarter. Look. That looks like a piece of junk and it's actually a quarter. My God. That thing was beaten. Wow. Uh-oh. I think I saw silver. Let's wait for this tide the wave to go out. I think I saw some silver. Where did you go? 24. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the edge of it. Silva! Look at that! Look at that green! Yeah, it might be a rosy. Yeah, it's got that Frankenstein grayish green. I think we got some silva. Picked it over, and I got something fine. Bailey picks it up down by two. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, get over here. Don't fall out. Ah. Might be a little sterling. Probably a CZ. We'll look it over. A lot of green conglomerate on these coins. Dime is beat up, but well, here's the wrap-up video. My uh, results of using the Equinox out a couple of times are uh, outstanding. Machine is light. It's uh, easily charged. The battery holds a charge well. Uh, the ID display is big numbers. And the backlight is very bright. Um, armrest is 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 light. It works. It's not going to break like the earlier Explorer ones. Rod's pretty stable. Coil looks good. No issues. Um, bat, like I say, battery holds a charge. I'm really impressed with this machine. And I'll tell you what impressed me the most is the depth. Getting excellent depth and excellent stability. In that wet sand um, a lot of machines in the past you would take down into that wet sand area and they would false out and uh, the machine would give you a reading you dig it and it would be a ghost target but this mine lab equinox it's really it's a excellent machine and I gotta be honest in my my many years of doing this I'm gonna throw out one right now this thing you guys in fresh water is going to be a killer it's going to be the killer um so i can't wait to get i'm getting it getting some waterproof headphones on order and i cannot wait to get this thing in a lake because i think really to be honest it's going to excel in salt water but this thing is really going to excel in lakes freshwater lakes so um but i did good uh did good tonight um getting a lot of coins down there that i mean <laughs> Uh, they've been through the blender um, Holes in them some with conglomerate on them uh, A lot of clad beat up clad came out of this area. I've been hunting uh, This penny there's not much left of that um, Lots of clad pretty good uh, did get a little conglomerate on this one, but uh, Pretty satisfied though real satisfied When that machine locks on it, you you know, you've got a good target I really like that. Um, the audio jack I'm a little sketchy on, but uh, it's just one of those things. I mean, where are you going to put it on that machine? It's small. It's lightweight. It's about the size of a golf club. Uh, the machine also, it's fast. I mean, when you're, you're going from target to target, it's just fast, and you feel like you can swing it faster, which is something that's going to be, i got to kind of rethink now because the CTXs and the Explorers, 
you had to drag so this one I think you're gonna get away with swinging a little faster I don't know what that is it's weird it's a weird looking thing um, but as for good stuff like I say there's my coins I did get two spoons um, get this real small nail loves fine small targets the Equinox so uh, really likes tiny stuff a little tin kind of shell casing this looks like an old helicopter blade or something for an old toy or something I don't know uh, good stuff got a sterling earring and I found one down there in that same area but it is not a match um, one's a little thicker so that's for my other pile um, but I did get a sterling earring got a sterling silver it's mark 925 on there on the back and that's a little CZ I believe did get a silver Roosevelt dime I can't make out the year but it is silver it's got that real gray patina color you can tell by looking at that core you don't see any copper through it so plus I give it give it a drop test it sings out loud loud so I did get one more silver we're gonna add that so I'm up to 49 on my silver count I'm gonna add this over here to my sterling pile add that silver to my sterling pile and the great news I got a piece of gold it's a uh, 14 carat it's marked on the back there it's small it's got a I think it's a garnet I'm not sure maybe it wants to be a ruby but I think it's a garnet and it's got a little diamond chip right there and it's marked 14 K on the back heavy little bugger and uh, rang out good small gold Equinox liked it so there's my first gold find with the Equinox so we're gonna add that up here we'll put that over here that gives me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22 pieces of gold, which is pretty good. Moving along here, so got some good stuff. But uh, real satisfied with the machine. Um, working well, like it. Uh, can't wait to get into the lakes with it. Probably going to do great. Um, loves small gold, reacts good. Uh, no real gripes yet, so. What I want to do this weekend is I want to take it out into some black sand areas. We'll see what it does out there. See if it falses at all. If we're going to mess with the sensitivity. But uh, we'll try that this weekend. And we're going to hit that same spot too. That was pretty productive today. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.